Hello everyone, welcome to Challenge to Build, and in today's review video, I'm talking rust and rust conversion coatings, and I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. After a few hours of prep and paint, the final product is remarkable. After doing the prep and cleaning and the degreasing, I applied one coat. Thankfully, I had a beautiful day today. I was able to use uh, the warmth to my advantage. I applied one coat, I let it dry, and then I applied the second coat. The first coat I used a brush to apply, and the second coat I tried a electric HVLP uh, sprayer, and uh, with success on that as well. The sprayer I would probably recommend for larger applications, but I wanted to test it out to see if it would work for something like this, and um, after the second coat, this is the final product. Now, the, the manufacturer recommends 24 hours um, of cure time for final cure before top coat. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna apply a top coat and show you the final result after the top coat. So I'll see you tomorrow. So it is the following day and I have now top coated the rear differential. It may not look too much different from the Cora Seal coat to the top coat, um, but I did apply about two to three coats uh, per the manufacturer's recommendations on the top coat. I tried the Rust-Oleum, and then I also tried the Duplicolor. I had better luck with the Duplicolor. The Duplicolor has a, a heavier texture behind it than the Rust-Oleum. The Rust-Oleum has like a very sandy texture and the Duplicolor more of, um, I don't know, like a popcorn ceiling type texture. Um, it does level out after it dries a little bit, but it is now a completed project and um, highly recommend Core Seal for your rust conversion needs. Um, this is the one gallon kit. Um, I bought the cleaner separate, the one gallon kit is 82331. Overall, ecstatic with how the product works. Um, obviously, for the best results, you want to follow the recommendations on the manufacturer's uh, instructions, and hopefully, you will have the same success that I did. I actually, uh, after I did the rear differential, I ordered a whole nother gallon because I am in the process of doing the frame on my truck and uh, I wanted to make sure that I had enough. So I'm in the process of doing that right now and highly recommended. Um, as far as the top coat, you guys can pick obviously whatever you wanna do. You can brush coat with whatever top coat you want. Uh, but again, just follow the manufacturer's instructions for, uh, for the best results. Uh, this, is now been, this is now going to be one of them products that I found on Amazon and we'll have on my shelf um, for as long as possible. Um, awesome, awesome product. I'm glad I purchased it. And uh, if you have rust, then I recommend you get yourself some Cora Seal. That wraps up uh, this review on Cora Seal and the cleaner. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's time for you to get out and challenge your build. I'll see you in the next video.